Confident, supportive, sarcastic. Eh, let me see. Grounded, definitely grounded, and very, very patient. Well, James, in general, is a guy who at one point had a, a superiority complex, and he actually sees himself in Don. I'd like to have warned you about this if you'd asked me. You're good with mechanical stuff, but there's an awful lot of automation happening there. It's not just hardware, it's software too. Look, you're not ready, and they're not gonna be patient with you. Don wants to be, obviously, where James is right now, and James you know, really, really sees the potential in Don and wants to see him go further, you know, than James did. I see potentially in the future James being like the mentor in terms of his job here, but also potentially being the father figure and giving him advice in terms of his relationship with Anna and giving him, you know, man man advice about ladies and, and all that. <laughs> well, that's a funny definition of the word pass. I still passed. Not here, not in the government run space station. I can learn as I go. Not if you don't even know the basics. Grounding wire? Seriously? You tried to impress me by bragging about how hard it was to point a solar panel at the sun. Look, I can't stand behind you until you start taking steps of your own. Well, Darwin Harris was, was voted best sense of humor in his high school uh, senior superlative. I wanted to be best actor, but my boy Leonard Roberts got that. I, I started off doing theater. My whole background is actually theater and music. I'm a singer, I play trumpet as well. I worked at this improv musical comedy group at Chicago's Navy Pier, and that's where I actually found my foundation of, of improv. But I've done you know theater work in Calgary, the Apollo Theater, Chicago, Victory Garden, Steppenwolf Studio. My on-camera work began in doing Home Alone 3, guest spots in early edition, Jeremy Piven's Cupid. I moved to LA, where I continued doing more on-camera work, Cold Case, The Riches with Mini Driver and Eddie Izzard. Most recently, I worked opposite of Sally Field and Rachel Griffiths on Brothers and Sisters for a blink. <laughs> Going to Dead Text, I used to work at uh, Navy Pier with Carrie. Carrie brought this project to me, and as soon as I read it, I was like, yes, this is definitely a winner. If you look at America, there is a blue collar foundation that actually got them to where they are right now. So, I mean, that's something that, you know, we all can connect to. And, like, that's one of the things that comes with it being more of a down-to-earth, grounded type show. With the combination of the sci-fi and the youthful energy that, that Deck Tex has, I see it as a winner.